I gotta move this though. Good morning, everyone. Where am I gonna put this so I don't dip my brush in it? That's the question. Anywhere else. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Seascapes, the painting show where we literally make up a seascape right out of thin air. So, let's show you the colors that we have on our giant Bob Ross palette. Our Van Dyke Brown, which is the darker color of the browns. Uh, dark Sienna, which is the lighter color of the browns. Don't ask why, it doesn't make sense. Ked Yellow, Bright Red, Yellow Ochre, Thalo Green, Thalo Blue. Lizard and Crimson, Midnight Black, and Titanium White. We might not even use all of these colors today, but they're on the palette, so we'll tell you what they are. We'll be painting with our Bob Ross 2-inch brush, 1-inch brush, fan brushes, all sorts of stuff I'll show you as we go. We have our canvas primed with Bob Ross Liquid White. You want to have just enough to see your fingerprint or the dimples in the canvas, nice and evenly covered. So if this is the first time you're watching a Paint With Josh video, tell us where you're watching from, what time it is, and what's your favorite sandwich? We always love to know. I have my wife here reading comments, so even though I'm not looking at the screen or being able to type back to you guys or anything, my wife is here, and we actually have a special guest tattooist in the studio today, watching, adding more pressure to the show. So <laughs> let's take a little bit of our red solo cup. This is a highly technical piece of equipment, and we're going to create a sunset, gorgeous sunset out of this one cup. Now in our, our black section, I, we have the Bob Ross liquid white up here. We have liquid clear down here. It looks a lot like that. Bam, welcome to the live shows, right? Where everything is all just discombobulated. That's how we like it. No one knows what's going on around here. So, babe, do we have any uh, viewers? Where are we watching from? We do. We've got mods in the house, Crystal's in the house. Crystal says her favorite sandwich is a Reuben. A Reuben? It's a, a little yellow. A uh, red. Jonathan Evely's here, Julie Strop, Sherry Latterman, Gemma Walton, Sophie Small. Hey, hey, welcome. Sounds like some Super Squad members in the house. Yep, fact. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of red to make this kind of bright orangey color. Just like that, on the brush. Woo, and then we'll get nice and zoomed in to show you how we do the show around here, right? Let's see what we're looking at. All right, I want to come over here. You know, we can even take TikTok and even bring it a little bit closer. How about that? Oh, I moved it so you could see the sign, but never mind. Oh, sorry, London wants the sign in. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to get him the best view we can get him here. Don't feel sick, people. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. There we go. All of those, you can't even see the sign now. Perfect, Josh. Thank you. Thank you for messing everything up. Yeah. Let's just get zoomed in over on uh, YouTube and we'll get started. Okay. We're going to take our orange on our brush, our highly technical piece of equipment, our cup over here, and let's decide. Maybe we want the sunset a little higher than normal, right? Let's throw it right about there. Take our brush, go around the cup very lightly. You don't need a whole lot of pressure, otherwise it'll be harder to blend away those nice little sunsetty colors, right? Just like that. Bam! Nice little sun. Get rid of our highly technical piece of equipment because we're not going to need it anymore. Blend outwards, away from the center. Right? I don't like having just a giant white sun like that. So stick with us. It's going to get better. I promise. I promise. All right? Now that we're fully blended out, it doesn't even matter that we accidentally went inside because now like a clock, we're going to come in from every hour leaving this bright white quarter sized, 50 cent piece sized bright white area in the center. Right, again, just pushing it in, blending that hard line out. Now all of a sudden we have a sun. It's not there yet. We haven't painted it, but we have a sun there. Now I want to get rid of all these little hard lines. Watch, I thought gonna... we had a daughter. Well, we do have a daughter, but now I have a son right here. Got it. <laughs> going to blend out the hard line like that. So it's just a soft little yellow circle, okay? Hey Very guys, simply. we want to let you know if you're watching on TikTok, if you could go ahead and share that live, tap the screen, drop us a comment so we know that you're here watching us. We really appreciate it. Uh, Josh does have subscriptions on his, um, on his channel uh, over on YouTube. Subscriptions on TikTok are not live yet. They'll be live tomorrow. So please, if you can, go over, join the channel on YouTube. If not, just hit that subscribe button on YouTube. It does really help everybody out to grow his channel. It does. Thank you, my love. You're Putting welcome. a little bit of that kind of orangey color. We can even just put it in with our circles like that. It doesn't even matter. Don't have a whole lot of room over here. We're not really blending it out yet. We're just dropping some color around that we can work with later. Okay, a little bit more of that, a little bit more red. Come up here just so it's a little deeper, darker, maybe in that one spot. That's all. That's all. Just leave it like that. We'll blend it out, right? Now, let's come over and grab some crimson. We're going to darken up our sky as we get further away from our sun. Ooh, look at this crimsony color. Man, that's fantastic. And don't let it go off your brush too easily, right? you got to have 
fair amount of color on there if you want this really deep, dark, vibrant sky. Hey, babe. Yes, love. I thought nobody liked it when the canvas starts to wiggle. They don't. No one likes it when the canvas starts to wiggle. A little bit of blue, a little bit of crimson, make this darker, kind of more lavendery color, right? And you're like, this is like a fifth grader's version of a sunset. I promise you, it's going to get better when we blend it out. So stay with us. Don't leave. A little bit of maybe our black, just down there, just straight black. Doesn't matter. Leave all these open areas. Everywhere that there's not color is a place for the, where the color is going to grow. Okay, now let's wash our brush off. Show you how we do that real quickly. We have a gently used, very thick, old, nasty plastic cup with some low odor mineral spirits or odorless mineral spirits in it. Now we're going to go into the cup, shake it into a trash can, and then into the old beater bucket. It looks a lot like that. I just have a five gallon bucket with a golf ball basket down in the bottom of it. It was the only thing I had in my garage when I very first started painting and uh, I'm still using it like three and a half years later. So don't fix it if it ain't broke, right? <clears throat> now we're going to dab off our one inch brush. We're going to go and grab a two inch brush just so we can work a little bit more easily, right? Two inch, this is the one that we prepped the canvas with. So it's still kind of slightly wet, but mostly dry. Let's go into our brightest section over here. Just start to mix that up just a little bit so it's nice and bright, right? I'm going to come over here, start to mix these colors together, start to pull them out. Slowly taking some of the yellow out here, taking some of the orange in here, that darker color. Pulling it into the center, right? We need some more color up here, actually. Let's grab a little of the yellow ochre, a little of the red, just because it got a little too bright up here. Karen Finish our edges. Says, good morning, my favorite people. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the show. Again, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, let us know where you're watching from, what time it is where you are, and uh, what's your favorite sandwich? We always like to know. There we go. Now we're gonna come in here very lightly, dragging some of the red into the orange, and orange out into the red, and back and forth, and back and forth. Crisscrossing like this, so everything becomes nice and blended together, leaving little dark areas like that. Right? You don't have to work everything to death. Leave little light areas where the light had come in. Maybe we'll put a cloud over the top of that, right? I love showing you because you don't have to just do the same sky every time in the same orientation. Maybe we want a little bit of that darker color down in here, right? Just giving you the idea, and then we're going to release you, let you loose on the world so you can come up with your own stuff and uh, really have fun while you're doing it. Okay, now that we're out here in our dark grayer section, we don't want to really come back too far into our our other section, right? Otherwise it's gonna get all nasty. Yeah, just with the, the swipes of the brush, you can pull some of that darker color in to our lighter color area, right? Mix back and forth. Very light pressure as we come over to our light side, very rough pressure on our darker side. Trying to get all that color to blend, right? All those different things turn into this gorgeous thing, right? Now it looks like if we took just a little bit of crimson which we're going to have to clean up because I got my ran my blue all through it, right? Get rid of all that blue. Hello. Just throwing knives everywhere. It's like a knife throwing show. We got a meatball sandwich in the comments. Meatballs. Uh, this is oil paint. Josh solely paints uh, wet on wet style in oil paints. In oils. Uh, so realistic. Anybody who makes oil paints, Josh will use. Yeah. <laughs> we use Gamblin, Windsor, Bob Ross. I've got Magic Fly paints. We've used... All sorts of stuff in the past. He does use liquid clear and liquid white. Uh, yeah, we have to prep the canvas with those two. That is the wet on wet technique. Very cool. All right, now, don't want to overwork it, otherwise it'll all become the same color, right? Maybe I do want a little bit of that darker crimsony bit just up in the corner up here. I like having the corners a little bit dark. It'll help focus your eye down onto that bright, bright, bright center very softly, even with the same two inch brush. I'm not changing brushes, just very light pressure because I don't want to ruin all that gorgeous bright sky right there. Mark Anderson's in the house, Jonathan Eadley, Cheryl Richardson's in the house. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to the Jenny show. Cars is in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A lot of Super Squad members watching today. Yep, if you don't know what the Super Squad is, you can head over to YouTube for the cost of a fancy coffee. $7.99 per month. You can join the Super Squad. 
which gives you access to member-only content while I'm trying to see how you beat the devil <laughs> Sorry, out. I'm trying to... It's I gotta fine. clean the brushes. Okay, let's dab those off on a paper towel. Always dab them off. You never know how clean it is or how wet it is coming out of your beater bucket. Never, ever know. Now, let's put a beautiful little sun in here, right? We have this gorgeous little spot for a sun. So let's take a little bit of our pure white, just on the end of a filbert brush, just like that. You don't need a whole lot, right? Gorgeous little thing. Don't need a whole lot of color. And we're going to come in and push right into the center of our most whitest bit, flatten the bristles, and then start to rotate them into a circle without moving this, the brush from the center is the key. Right? Otherwise, you'll have a funky looking little sun. Nice, bright, super bright little circle in there. I gotta move this camera real quick. Oh, I know, YouTube. I'm sorry. I just saw an armpit. That was my armpit. You okay. just exposed oh. your armpit to YouTube. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's got this really bright aura around that bright white sun. It's fantastic. And it's so simple, right? We didn't cover that area. A lot of people ask me, how do you get your clouds white? Or how do I keep my sun really bright white? Well, we didn't cover this area with any paint. Very little, 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 teeny tiny amount of paint. So it stayed very bright white. Now, let's throw some clouds in. Could you try again? Oh, I'm sorry, Siri. Am I annoying you during my live show? Thank you. My goodness. It's okay. No, yeah, it is okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Dude, it's okay for annoying me during your show. Yes, thank you. All right, let's see. Siri's trying to throw me off over here. Okay, we're going to grab two fan brushes. Now, I got these in my Amazon wish list. Somebody got these for me. Jackie and, uh, and Cheryl both got me a set of these. They're GAC Doctor. It's the only way I know how to say it. G-A-C-D-R. Artist brush. This is a size 10, a size 12. Doesn't really matter what size it is. It could be a size 3 or, or whatever. Whatever you have is going to work fine. But these are great brushes. I highly recommend these uh, GAC Doctor fan brushes. Or however you would say it. I don't know. Does that sound right? GAC Doctor? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about them. So, now, if we're going to throw clouds in over our gorgeous sunset... I don't want to take my two darkest colors and put them over here in the beginning, right? We're going to kind of blend our clouds out like the, the sun is, our, our sunset sky is. So a little lighter clouds into a little darker clouds into really dark clouds out here, right? So let's go into our, we can't obviously do the same color yellow that we started with. So let's go into red and yellow ochre, which was the second color that we put on out here. And that is going to be slightly darker than the brighter color that we have in here. And then we decide what we want our clouds to look like. You can come up here, you can hold the brush any which way you want. You can hold it upside down if it's easier for you to do that, right? Doesn't matter. I like doing it like this. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask why. Okay, let's come in here, maybe from this side. We've got these far off little clouds. We'll just bounce them in. Guys, thank you so much for sending finger hearts and gifts over on TikTok. I really, really, really Woo! appreciate it. The voice in the background is me. I'm loving it. It's <laughs> hilarious. This is Paint with Josh, and if you like his artwork and you want to paint along with us, you can do so over on YouTube or TikTok. We go live every Friday, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. 1 p.m. Eastern. Yes, or 12 Central. There we go. See how we just mixed up that little bit of red in there? Now leaving all those little areas where it's nice and bright and nice and dark. Got to have both. The differences are amazing, right? Now let's come into our white. Just a little bit on the end of the fan brush, just like we did with the color. And then we'll come in and drop in a bit of our white over the tip tops of our clouds, but not covering all the shadows. See how I've left about a quarter of an inch of shadow right around the edge there? Better and we'll come down. is in the house. We want to thank you for your duet that you did on Josh's video last Yeah, that was a cool duet. It. Thank you for that. Again, guys on TikTok, we're trying to get more. We had... A couple lives ago, we had 40,000 taps on the screen. If we could get more than 40,000 taps today, that would be so amazing. So tap that screen, show TikTok that you love us, and show us that you love us just by tapping on that screen. Man, just mix up our little bit of white right over the top of those clouds, right? Anywhere that you don't like, maybe we'll take the bottom and flatten it out on the edge. Right, now we have this all of a sudden very flat bottom of our cloud. Maybe we'll go back in and fill in a little bit of the color into that. Take our brush again, swipe it over, just like that. You have 3D looking clouds, right? Very simply, very easily done. Always take your two inch brush, swipe them up, swipe them over, just very softly, very soft. Just for anyone who's new tuning in, Josh is a oil painter. We're based here in Las Vegas. 
He does have a YouTube channel with a subscription-based service. He also puts out free videos every Wednesday. If you are interested in painting along with Josh or checking out his content, please do so. We go live on TikTok Friday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sunday, 10 a.m. The paint that he is using is oil paint and just about every brand of oil paint he would use. It is the wet on wet technique for anyone who used to watch PBS when they came home from school to watch Bob Ross. Same technique as old Bobby. There we go, a little bit of dark above our shadows this time, okay? Because the sun is underneath, it's gonna be lighting up the bottom of the clouds versus the top of the clouds. The top of the clouds will be in the shadow. So just upside down, kind of mixing them up and away. Any areas that you don't like, just go over a few more times. All of a sudden you got these soft little far off clouds floating, all this stuff out here very light because it doesn't have any shadow underneath it. So it really wants to mix away, and blend away with those clouds, right? Very softly. Just like that, very soft, very soft. All right, we're gonna come into a little bit of a darker color now. Coming out here, we can't use this brighter red color. It's not gonna really stand out as dark. So let's come into our crimson, a little bit of the black, just a touch of black though. You don't need a whole lot, maybe two swipes. Two swipes of black is all we need. Maybe out here we're gonna decide, I don't know, a little bit bigger of a cloud. More pressure on the brush, you know what I mean? Dropping more paint in. A little bit more crimson and black. Mark and Anderson is watching. Cheryl is watching. We hey. took them from YouTube and now they're watching on TikTok. On TikTok. So thank you so much. There we However go. you choose to watch us, we really appreciate it. Thank we you do. for that. Notice how I've, leave, I've left space in between here, right? I don't want to cover up all this gorgeous color that we put underneath it. So we're going to very lightly, starting from this side, start making our circles, bringing down some of that dark, grabbing some of this. Bringing a little bit of it up, maybe a little bit of it down, maybe a little bit up, little down, little up, little down, and just mixing them, but not over mixing it so it completely disappears, right? And let's say we wanted a little bit more dark shadowing in there, right? Come in there, add it, push it, blend it, more pressure, less pressure, right? It's a constant battle of how much pressure am I giving it? Very light amount or very hard amount trying to really blend something away. Right? All up to you, what you want it to look like. We've got the pirate painter over on YouTube. <clears throat> hey, that's Raymond Usher. I know. We Raymond have uh, sauerkraut pancakes being made right now. We've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches seem to be the number one. Uh, favorite sandwich in Cape Breton by John Evely is liquor ball sandwiches. I'm going to have to Google that when we get them. Liquor there. ball sandwiches. Cheryl's over there with our roast beef and pickle sandwiches. Weird. I know. <laughs> she knows it's weird. Woo! Right. Thank you for the guitar over on TikTok. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Brand new clean brush. Not new, but not been used yet. All right? Grab some of that white, start to pull it down over our shadows. Look at all those differences. All right? Maybe pull it up a little bit. Go up. Be crazy. The cloud is not a perfect shape. It's not like we're drawing it with a pencil and it's got to have a round edge on the top, right? Look at all the depth in there. Look at all those shadows. Don't cover them all. Covering all the shadows is the worst <laughs> possible thing Cheryl, you can do. Cheryl said you love me anyways, even though her sandwich is all good. Yeah, Correct, Cheryl. True. That is 100% fact. We because would just like to shout out Cheryl and the fact that this easel is brought to you by Cheryl. That's true. Cheryl bought us this easel off of our wish lists. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for... Can we get the painting a bit more in the frame, please? Yep. Are we out of frame? I don't know. I don't know. We need to get rid of the sign and just zoom. If they were, people have had enough time for the sign. Then they'll see it again at the end. There we go. But just make it full, right. full screen for the people. Full screen for the fans. There we go. And remember, after this video is over on YouTube, it's going to be pushed behind the members-only wall. So if you want to continue to see it or paint along with it, you can catch this video and all of my other fantastic weekend videos, all the seascapes right after the show. Uh, by paying $7.99 on YouTube, you can sign up for our membership and uh, you can access so many little videos. So check that out after we're done. That's all we're going to say. Oh my goodness. Chris That's all we're going to say. Coming in with those sweet candies. We're at 44, 46, 47 40 sweet candies right now. Sweet candies. Thank there you so much. A little bit of a cloud off in the distance, right? Leave a little bit so it can grow and connect to itself very softly. Dragging some of it up, some of it down, leaving little things, less pressure, more pressure. Let it drag away. Come up this way, make it soft, do whatever you want to do.
However your cloud looks is the perfect cloud, right? That's a wicked little sunset right there, I must say, filled with clouds. Fantastic. How long does that sky take? About 20 minutes? Not bad at all. Let's see. I'm running out of clean brushes here. Let's see if I can't blend this out just a little bit more around our sun. Just to make it a little softer. There we go. A little bit less differences, right? It's all about differences. All right, when you're doing a tattoo, it's all about differences in the color. How are you going to make it look when you only got one, when you're using just one color? Hey, babe, I just set up a wiggly, wavy, tubey man thing. An inflating arm flailing... What's it called? <laughs> Wacky, waving, inflating, arm flailable tube man. Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Har... <laughs> I'm Al Harrington, owner of the Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man warehouse and emporium. Oh, man. One of my favorite episodes of Family Guy right there. Just a little bit of white. Just to fill up any, tr any part where your sky kind of transitions and you have that different, that you know, the orange and the bright. If you chuck just a little cloud in there, it just helps your eyeballs understand why it's transitioning like that. Chrissy on TikTok asks, should we membership sub on here or on YouTube, which is better? The, so, amount, yeah. the amount of content over on YouTube is more in depth than TikTok. We did just come over to TikTok to start doing lives. We will be here every, yeah, the, Friday, every Sunday. If, sorry, honey, if you really want to learn and, and see the videos and learn from the videos and paint the videos, YouTube is the place to go. Definitely, right? Were you going to say that? Yes. <laughs> well, we can't have full live uh, or full length tutorials on, on TikTok, so YouTube is the place to go if you want to sign up for that. Um, but London, again, London is the brain, so I might just be talking out of my butt and you're not, not even know what I'm talking about. You're not. It is, uh, it is much more in-depth over on... Uh, YouTube. Yes. There we go. What's going on over there? It's got your attention. I'm, I was trying to add a new mod. Oh, okay. All right, now we're going to prep the black side of our canvas with whatever colors we want to show underneath, right? So if we want to have, you know, what do you want your water to look like? And our, our waves are going to start way up here, off in the distance, and they're going to work themselves down to about here. All the rest of the stuff we're going to have to fill up. So I'm thinking let's do some phthalo green because I love... This oceany green color right on our brush. Just dabbing it in just like that. Can you guys see? Everybody see? I don't even know what YouTube we can see. We can see. what YouTube looks like. We so let's see. go over here. And then we're going to have to clean some brushes after this, okay? Now, just in the dark section, I just want to lay in some of that dark green, our sea oceany green color. Start chucking it back like this till we line up with our horizon very slowly, very gently. A little bit of green back in there, right? And then if we go over it with our with our white paint, then it's going to light up into this Aww. gorgeous thing. Someone, a little bit of green back here too. Let's just go like here. That. And Emily Shaddox just wrote, "Oh my goodness, did my FYP just give me the millennial Bob Ross my day?" Is yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The millennial Bob Ross, but I'm cuter, right? Right. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Uh, Molds 47 says, can you do this at night so I can fall asleep? I do this with Bob Absolutely. Ross. Absolutely. Morgs, you are more than welcome to go over, subscribe for free over on YouTube. Hit one of those playlists. Josh will speak to you all night. My voice will not be right. in the background. I have a, so I have a playlist. We normally put out a, a Wednesday video, right, for free. We put out a Wednesday video where it's just me up here. I do the video. It's about 40 minutes and you'll learn how to paint a scene. And then we do the live shows on the weekends. Um... I forgot where I was going. What was I saying? Sorry. Right. What were we talking about? Doesn't matter. Babe, tell me. <laughs> tell me. Talking about playlists. Oh, playlists. yeah. So all of those Wednesday videos are on the best tutorials playlist on my, my channel, right? Those are the ones where you're really going to learn. They're all in 1080p. A lot of the times when we do a live show, the, the connection might not be perfect or it'll only be in 720 or we may be too far zoomed out. Like during the, the tutorial show, I move in and out. Every time I come up here, the camera zooms in and you see exactly what the brush does. So those are perfect to fall asleep to. I have tons of really old videos where, you know, it's just, you know, it was me back in the day before I was so awesome at what I do now. So I, I, can't, I can't vouch for those videos, but a lot of people like the, the brand new videos because I was a beginner teaching beginners, right? And so people seem to like that. So I've got a playlist of really old beginner videos. I've got some of newer videos. I have Friday night playlists from some of the ones that haven't been hidden by the paywall yet. 
There's live Sunday seascape shows that are not hidden. Some of the best ones are on there uh, just to tempt you into seeing what is actually behind the paywall, right? But on YouTube, for $7.99, it's 26 cents a day, and uh, you'll feed a starving artist like myself. And become a better artist yourself. So, let's clean off all these brushes. We have our blue, we have our green, and then we have our blue. Can you guys see that, or is it too dark? No, everyone can see it. Okay, a lot of times, when even when I'm standing here painting, it's too dark for me to even see, and I've got to... I've got all these bright lights and I gotta do the bob and weave to try to see. Got Muhammad Ali over here. Like, ah, ah. Just so I can see. Just for you guys. We keep it so bright. So you guys have an awesome video that I can't even see what the canvas looks like. Alright, now we need to decide what, what color is our beach gonna be? Should we do we gotta put some brown in there? Gotta put some brown. So let's grab our big giant palette again. This palette was actually bought to us by a fan named Linda. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna grab a little bit of a lighter color brown, which is the dark sienna. Again, don't ask why. Did I just drop a piece of paint? Hang on, showstopper. Can't be dropping paint on the floor. What? There we go. It was, it's a, it was a dry piece of paint, so it's okay. You've been on the couch tonight. <laughs> it was dry. Paint in the carpet. All right, now we're gonna take our brown. We're gonna come in underneath our blue section, but I don't wanna paint the whole black thing brown, right? I don't want the whole black area to be brown. So let's leave a little area. Right? And this is a very bright brown when you put it on a, a black canvas. So let's take a little bit of the darker color brown as well. And we're going to come in here, pulling it out, loading it up onto the brush, trying to catch the pieces that are falling. What is up with you? Woo! Today? I don't know. Take some of that darker brown, put it down in here. And that way our, our light and everything can transition through all these deep, dark colors. Right? Mixing them in slightly so they're not all the same. I love differences in color. You'll find that out about me. And I'm going to leave the bottom part black, and that way, if any little bit, we can have some super dark shadows down there. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Differences in color! Wah, 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 wah. Come on down! You're the next contestant on Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing 2 Man Warehouse and Emporium! <laughs> She's over there dying, and our guest is like, Oh my god, I didn't know these people were so weird. Why am I staying here? Why am I staying here? Okay, I might, I had an idea of maybe putting like a pier off in the distance if we could get the angle right. Maybe a ghost ship, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's clean off the fan brushes and we'll get painting. Hey, Josh. Yes, ma'am. What kind of clouds are those? Uh, paint with Josh clouds. Happy clouds. Oh, happy clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I paint with Josh clouds. Let's put in a few more little, just soft little wispies on this guy over here. Just because I can never stop. I'm just never satisfied with what it looks like. And you can mix it up until you like what it looks like. Pull it off to the side. Very cool. Leaving some distance in between those other things. Or if you don't like it, just blend it until you do. Right? Very neat. Very neat. Okay, let's take our brush. We're going to come into here and get some white paint on this big old brush. And as we go over these colors, it's going to be like magic. Magic is about to happen right in here. Right? So... We know we're going to have our green faraway ocean, our waves are going to start to crash, and then they're going to come into the blue section and they're going to be crashing bigger. There's going to be lots of waves in this one. So let's take out here, let's start, I like starting underneath the sun to be our brightest area. And just start dropping in little bits of water. Just little, little things. Leaving spaces, leaving little darkness, right? Little bits. Don't need a whole lot, because again, that's not what it's going to look like. We're going to take it and we're going to blend it. We're going to move it and soften it. Brighten areas, dark areas. Leaving all those little bits to just, just change the slightest thing, right? Very cool. Very cool. Now, let's take these and make them just like that. Fantastic. All right, let's add a little bit of detail in here. We're going to grab that again, grab our white. And let's say... Maybe back here, there was a little, little wave. So we're gonna come up to a peak and go down. All right, take this guy, go back that way, slide him back as they're all coming in. Very soft, okay? Take him, just soften it down, pulling it back, pulling this guy to the side, creating our next little bit of wave that's gonna come in. And come in here like this, make another one even. We're almost there, guys, to 30,000 likes. Hey, keep hitting that button. To the video. Uh, Wild Spirit Design says, do you have any videos about 
the cleaning bucket or cleaning brushes with oils? I do. I have a uh, I have a YouTube short. It's actually there's a video on my TikTok of how we clean the brushes and stuff too. So now I don't want to lose all my darkness under there. So I want to add a little bit and that darker color just to change it. Right? It's going to make it raise itself up. Now let's grab a liner brush, a little bit of our liquid white. And a little bit of our titanium white, just mix them up. So it's just a little thinner consistency than the stuff that we have on the canvas, right? Now we can come back here, we can grab our little mall stick, maybe take here and just start to slide our wave. Just adding that little bit of brightness to it. Just a little bit is all you need. Dead cereal, that's all you need. If it's too big or too thick, too much all the same, right? It doesn't need to connect. Nothing needs to connect here. The sun is going to be hitting the water at a certain way on each little piece of it, so it doesn't all have to be the same. And that's what we like to preach around here. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all the gifts, the shares, the you guys likes. Are awesome. We hit 31.2 thousand. 31 thousand likes. likes. Come on, guys. We're trying to get more than 40 on our last one. We had 40. Last Sunday we had 40,000 likes. Let's see if we can get to 50,000 likes. 50,000. I might actually Peace. mess my pants. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. A couple little things, right? Little bits. Keeping that dark area. You have to have all of that darkness. If it's not there, your eyeball is going to go, what, what? That's too much. It's too much bright. There's too much bright things happening here. So don't kill all the black. You have to have it. It has to retain itself. And that way it'll look like the water is actually lifted up a little bit. And I'll show you just in one little second. Just in one little second. Guys, if you love what Josh is doing right now, you can head over to YouTube. You can subscribe on YouTube. Join the channel, $7.99 a month. You can also follow him here on TikTok to see shorts. He does post shorts over on YouTube as well. Uh, and support go. the artist. That is what it's about. Without your support, the artist can't get to a thousand people a day. You can't do much. The goal. Can't Babe, do what's that weird much. stick across your easel? This is a yardstick that's now been painted so often that it doesn't resemble a yardstick anymore. Uh, but I use it to rest my hand. When I want to make details, I can come as close as I can without touching the canvas. As long as there's a little bit of, of space underneath, then I'm not going to squish anything, right? And all it does is just steadies my hand to make little things happen off in the distance. Right? When we're trying to be very uh, precise, we try to use the mall stick to keep that precision and not let it because a lot of times I'll come up here and go blurp, and touch it too hard or smush it or my hand will be shaking because you guys make me so nervous and I'm like this it's like a pencil like whoo <laughs> so the mall stick helps with that there we go very oh shoot don't touch underneath don't touch in there you want to keep it dark all right now we got to come in with our next little bit of crashers coming in so let's clean that brush off. I want it nice and fresh and white. We got any comments, huh? Or is everybody hundreds. just hundreds? Hundreds of comments. How many people are watching? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't. Okay, tell me. I want to tell you. Tell no, me. I'm not going to tell you. Tell me. Um, is it more than six fifty? Oh, we got one. We got an air dancer. An air dancer? Yeah, the tubey guy. Oh, a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> that's my that's London's favorite thing. It really is. Little bits of that white, just little things, right? Little details. Got to make sure they're kind of straight back, though. Don't want to get too crazy. Don't want to have too much white. Don't want to have too much of anything. You got to have those little differences. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the wacky waving. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing too bad. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, we're going to start adding some crasher details in here, okay? In order to do that, I don't want my waves to be so liquidy white yet. We do have a question Softly. in the comments if you do commissions. Do you do commissions? I do do. I do do commissions. Hey, we got another one. Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man. Hi, I'm Al, Al Harrington, owner of Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Emporium and Warehouse. And we're here to pass these painting ideas along to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Giggles, thank right, you let's go so over here. much. Let's Giggles has sent six of them. Holy Thank you crap! So much. It's like a in here. Babe, I wish it's you could insane. see them. I wish you could see them. 
Let me see. Hold on. Wacky, waving, inflatable arm, flaily tube man. I wish you could see him. <laughs> We're at 42,000. 42,000! We broke the Look, barrier. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's way cool. There he is. Look. Wacky waving inflatable arm, flailing tube man, emporium and warehouse. It's over. You guys here. are absolutely <laughs> amazing. Thank this you. This is so how we're going to paint our paintings today. We reached 50% <laughs> of the live goal. All right, let's Thank see. You. All done by giggles. So, so. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. Okay. Let's add just a little bit more, just so lightly of a bit of water, maybe crashing far off in the distance without trying to touch our other peak of our wave. Okay. Now let's <laughs> now I'm all out of breath. Wacky wavy and flammable arm flailing painter man. <laughs> There's another all right, one. Let's come over here. Thank you so much, Cheryl. We are almost <laughs> at that we are almost at that target of 20 flailing. Waving Wacky, arm. waving, inflatable arm, flailing two man! Those guys! <laughs> we'll be setting that live goal every weekend just because it's one of the funniest things Josh can say. It is. It's pretty funny. I like I like saying A it. A pirate painter. We just received a, 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 a pumpkin. A pumpkin? We've got Red Bed Rebel with those sweet candies again. Thank you so much. And there we go. A little dot for the eye of the wave. You don't want to make it too crazy. This is a very far away wave. Right? But even so, being far away, we have to pop in just a little, little bit of... We got another one! Packy waving! <laughs> Thank you so much! And flailing arm, flailing... I can't, I've gotten so many, I can't even say it anymore. Packy <laughs> waving inflatable arm, flailing tube man! <laughs> We're here to pass these painting tips along to you! The live goal's been achieved! <laughs> Thank you so much! Solely due to oh, Giggles man. and Cheryl. Thank you so oh, that's much. Funny. There we go. We're gonna drag in just a little bit of foam, very softly, because it's it's very far away, right? Just a few little things that you might have seen way off in the distance. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Just got twenty pumpkins. Twenty pumpkins. From Raymond Dasha. Thank you so much. This is oh Halloween. Goodness, this babe. is Halloween. You just Halloween. Got, you just got a shooting star. A shooting star. Those are my favorite. Oh, guys, if for the shooting star, let's put a, a chemtrail back. A contrail. No conspiracy theories around here, people. That's a different channel. A little bit of our white. And where do we say our plane lives? Right? Where is it flying to? Maybe it came. Boop, just out of the cloud. So let's come back here. It was trying to miss the cloud, but it just accidentally popped in. Little tiniest little bit of our white. Oh, babe, look. You got a whole drum set. Oh, oh you brrr, missed it. You missed it. Wow. That was beautiful. <laughs> All right, Thank we're going to take our, so our one-inch brush. It's clean and dry. One swipe is all you get. Don't mess it up. Here we go. Shoot. And that's it. Oh man, I forgot our window is open because it's so nice out in Las Vegas. I wonder what the hell our neighbors think we're doing in here. Shoo! Like, what is going on in that house? My goodness. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's come in here. We're going to have to make another crasher, but let's do it in front, right? Save all this depth. We don't want to have too much. That's so great. That's it. That's it. I'm done painting forever. I've never, I'll never do another wave that good back there. <laughs> Fantastic people! Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two man. There we go. Just a little bit of bright. All right. Stop messing around, Josh, and come in with your next one. Let's say there was a bit that fell in. So how are we going to make it fall? It's not going to fall too much either. Okay, we need to make a little bit of our dark color because you can't have bright with no dark. So well, black, so, crimson. We're so close to 50,000 50, likes, 50,000! Come on, guys, screen. tap that screen. Share that live. What do I have to do? Make... Wacky waving and flailing arm flailing two man painters <laughs> in a warehouse while I hit the camera and everything falls over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's come into this guy. Maybe he was crashing, I don't know, a little bit. It didn't come down all the way, though. So we just put in a little smiley face of our dark color right here. We're yeah. going to take our light color. Red Maybe Red drag Rebel with those microphones. Thank you so much. Drag him this way. Drag this guy this way. Just a little bit, right? Just It's just started to lose its integrity. Remember, guys, if you like what Josh is doing, you can follow him here on TikTok. You can also go over, subscribe to YouTube. Let's build that channel so we can share the joy of wacky, wavy, inflatable arm man with everybody. <laughs> wacky, wavy, inflatable arm, flailing tube man! <laughs> it just proves I watch too much Family Guy is all it really proves. 
I don't think it's appropriate. Hey, Seth McFarlane. Somebody tag Seth McFarlane. Give me a... 54,000 Give me a voiceover. Thank you so much, guys. Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing, two-man, a painting warehouse. Absolutely amazing. Keep tapping that screen, sharing You guys are fantastic. Bring it to everybody. Thanks, Becky, for the donut. Really appreciate that. If you are watching on YouTube and you want to send a gift and join in the fun, you can. You can send super stickers over on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, please remember go. to press that thumbs up. It does make a huge difference. Share that live. Send it to your grandma. Put it in a text message. Send it to your next-door neighbor. We'd really, really, really appreciate it. We would. A couple little bits as our wave is rolling and falling over. Maybe that one doesn't even need a little bit of a... Of a, um, there we go. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm literally making it up as we go. This is like, there's no reference. Now that the painting looks how it looks, there is no reference about it. Maybe it came down this way. We can feed just a little bit of that water back this way. Trying not to cover all of our dark, saving that dark line, right? The water's coming over. It's coming over. What are we going to do? Make it soft, that's what we're gonna do. Make it soft. Now, the big one, the big guy, he's coming in. I can feel him. I can feel. Let's make just a little bit of a bright thing over here. Just a teeny touch of paint, and then we'll brighten up the eye, trying to keep a little bit of that dark line in between. You have to have that dark line. It makes the wave look like it's gonna rotate over and fall. Like it's 3D, baby. All right, now we're gonna come in with our, our next little crasher. Let's create what we have over here. We don't need to put a wave every few feet, right? It doesn't work like that. Gonna spread them out. Now we've gone through so much white paint today, it's insane. Okay, maybe this guy came oh out a little goodness. bit more. 60,000 likes. 60,000 wacky waving inflatable arm flailing likes. There Thank you so much, guys. Again, please, if you are watching on YouTube, press that thumbs up. Makes a huge difference. Tells it YouTube really that, does, we, uh, guys. that you enjoy what you're seeing. We've got David Sutter over on YouTube. David. There is also a poll going on right now on TikTok. Do you paint? If you paint, click that yes. If if you're like me and you can't paint, click <laughs> that no. I wish I could, but click that not at all button. <laughs> all right, let's come over here. And grab our liner brush just before we get too far away. And I forget, because that happens very often. Let's come in and just make a little bit of white. Oh, geez, don't be too crazy, Josh. A little bit of white line connected to our bit, trying to retain that dark line in between the, the eye of the wave and the lip, right? The eyes and the lips do not need to be connected. Oh, my goodness. Trees and Pretty cupcakes, like thank you so much for... There we go. The TikTok logos, I think that's what they were. They came up a bit quick. Substar from Nat. Woo! Look at that! Holy cow! You see the difference where we put that phthalo green and then where we put our blue and how the water is changing because of our undercolors, our underpainting under there. <laughs> I'm so Dave, sorry. I'm so that was atrocious. Sorry, let's reload the cannon, baby. Everybody, mm. Everybody's left now. Mm. Uh, humor is funny. I just want to shout out your username. I'm London is London hilarious. London is hilarious. You guys need to be friends. <laughs> you can always come over and interact with me. Now, <laughs> Olivia sent you a high October. We've got that. Nachos. We've got another All high right, October. Uh, hey. People are rating your burp in the comments. As a so, 10.0, so, I hope. Nope. Just a 9. <laughs> just a just 9. A nine. <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right. Let's do our big crasher over here. So. We're going to come make our little smiley face motion and then pop up. The see, you guys want to know the secret to a wave? You want to know. They want to know, babe. They want to know. It's all about the S shape, right? Ooh. I've found by watching water, by watching painters, by watching myself, by learning that it's about the angle of the wave and what it looks like determines everything, okay? So we have to create the back side of our S, and then we're gonna come around. It's like a constant wavelength, right? Why do they call it a wavelength? Oh, cause it's like waves! <laughs> so we'll come up here, and we'll decide maybe the tip top of our wave's gonna come down like that, right? Hey, Coletti, I wish I could paint like Actually, that Actually, we need too. to come up a little bit higher. I live with him, I'm married to him, I've been watching him paint for four years, I still can't paint like this. Right, little bits 
Char Baby says, do you feel anyone can learn to paint? Any single person, I can teach you how to do it. I swear on my life. I swear by the moon and the clouds in my sky. All right, I put a little bit too much white in an area where I don't want it. So let's take our paper towel. Don't wipe off all the blue underneath. Just wipe it enough to where that white goes away, right? Want to save the blues for our wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube men. There we go. Now look at that shape. S. If you are interested in right? learning how to paint S. just like Josh, you can head over to YouTube. He does have about 400 videos. Some are behind a subscription. It's $7.99 a month, just the price of a small fancy coffee. And you could pump out paintings just like this. If you are interested in purchasing any of Josh's paintings, you can head over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Uh, where you will find everything from ca original canvases to canvas prints to t-shirts to mouse pads to laptop cases. You name it, it's in there. A little bit of just highlight feeding the top of our wave back, right? So it's coming backwards. Don't even have to start from the tip top, right? It's behind. You're not going to see all the things that are happening behind the wave back there. Bring it back up. Their angles are most important, right? Back up towards the way back there. Very cool. If you are interested in watching Josh in your own home on television, you can head over to netflix.com, press the contact us button, and under recommend show, type in paint with Josh. Paint if we get enough with people to write Josh. paint with Josh, Netflix will be like, who is this Yeah, who's this paint with Josh guy? We gotta check him out. <laughs> so let's get our dark colors on our brush. Come in here. I mean, how much how much more fun am I? I? I love Bob Ross, and I love that he was nice and chill, right? But sometimes the chillness make you fall asleep. So you got to have somebody that, uh, there we go, a little bit of dark underneath helps it rotate, right? Now, let's come up. I'm going to push in, following our S-shaped curve. The more we push, 70, the more... 70,000 likes. 70,000. You guys are insane. Guys. You guys are literally insanity. Tap that screen, the 2022 Bob Ross fact. I love that comment. You can head over to uh, there we go. YouTube, Etsy. You can hit up the paintwithjosh.com. A little bit of liquid white into our white. And if you're interested in napping, <laughs> you can also head over and... Watch this stuff about to happen. 76% of the people watching you right now do paint, Josh. 23% of the people know and wish they could feel a lot like me. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer the... The poll. Oh, that water. Oh, my God. That was oh, my crazy. God. It's fantastic. Sorry. I love you guys. I get caught up in my painting sometimes. <laughs> All right. Where are we going? And what are we doing, Joshy Poo? Now that this has just turned into one of my most favorite paintings of all time, let's take a little bit of our dark color, because back here you have to have that little line of dark underneath your white. Just helps it sit up. You see that? Oh, right? Am I right? We have... Christian, am I right with that dark line? Yeah. It makes the white stand up a little bit, like it's an inch of foam. You can head over to Netflix.com, and there's a button that says Contact Us. If you click that button, it'll say Recommend a Show. And you can type in, it will ask you for three suggestions. Type paint with Josh, all one word, in all three of those boxes. And maybe one day we will be able to get him a Netflix show. Maybe. All right, now we need a little bit bigger of a knife. There we go. Got to have that dark separator in between those two colors to help our wave sit up a bit higher. All right, take a little bit of our liquid white. It is. This is Josh Kirkham, otherwise known as Paint with Josh on Etsy. It would be paintwithjosh.etsy.com. I did reset the goal for the inflatable wavy arm man. <laughs> so if you are interested, if you want to hear me in, say it some more, <laughs> if you are interested in submitting, you can happily do that. We really appreciate all those gifts. You deserve there a paint go. show just for the dedication and effort you put in. There we go. Well, but thank like, you. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much for the roses. Okay, this is gonna uh, be again. You can head over to Netflix.com. You can hit that contact us button that's at the bottom of their website, 
and then recommend a show and type paint with Josh in as your three suggestions. And maybe, just maybe, we can get him on Netflix near you. That would be soon. fire. Me and you just hanging out on flicks, chilling, Netflix and chilling. There we go. Browski Photography. I'm nine months pregnant with my rainbow baby and this color palette is giving me life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, I love colorful paintings, right? So people always come and they're like, ocean water doesn't look like that. I go, well, I'm not a, a realist painter. I'm an expressionist, just a wiener. So <laughs> leave me alone. If you are interested in subscribing or joining the YouTube channel, you can head over there. It is youtube.com forward slash paint with Josh. We do own forward slash join if you want to join. Didn't you say join? Yeah, there's no need to confuse them. Just youtube.com forward slash paint with Josh. Oh. Then there's a join button or a subscribe button. One is free, one is $7.99. But if you are into painting and you want in-depth videos and you don't want the sound of my voice in the background, you can head over and click that join button for you make it sound one so on bad, one time voice. with Josh. Your voice is gorgeous, honey, and I would love your voice in the background. What do you do with the paint left over on your palette? Great I question. save it for the next video because I'm constantly painting. So yeah, I've heard you can freeze it or put saran wrap over it or, you know, whatever to save it. But uh, I, I literally paint all weekend long. I do, a, I do my Friday night show. Uh, in most cases, it has paint left over from <laughs> last week. Uh, but then I, you know, I'll load it up with some more or I'll come back and... And need a little bit more for to, for today's show. Most of these colors were already here, and I added what I knew I was going to work with the most. I added a little bit more paint, but there's constantly paint on my palette. It never leaves. I'm always painting. I'm always hey, coming babe. up with a new line or a new video. Babe. Yes, my love. Eighty thousand likes. Eighty thousand likes. Oh my god! Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing like man. Like man. Yeah. Okay. Because they're all liking it. I did there reset that live if you want to hear that live okay, goal, if you want to hear Josh say inflatable wagon <laughs> in the arm flailing man. If you want to hear my family guy impression of Al Harrington and his his emporium, then you've got to send one in, I guess. Yep. That's what London says. London this, is the keeper of the paint with Josh. There this painting plus tons of other paintings are available on Etsy. You can head over there during the live or after the live any time, to be honest, paintwithjosh.etsy.com and see all the fun stuff over there. There is a lot of stuff on the shop, like shirts and mugs and different things. Yep, different everything things. that Josh has for sale is available, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. That is it. If we could hear my phone go ching when someone buys a painting during the show, oh my, what a, what a what a treat that would be. That would be amazing. We I, like I'm not one of those Etsy shops that they're like too good to respond to you or too busy or whatever. Um, you know, I love when that phone makes a noise like a cash register. It's it lights up my day. It could start my day. It could change my day from a bad day to a fantastic day. So. You know, I appreciate every single one, every single sale. Let's see, we're gonna grab just the smallest little bit of that light color. Don't even need all of it, I mean, just a little bit. Oh, look, we're getting into our brown now. It's gonna start changing. Absolutely Swipe amazing. If Josh gives you the urge to paint, please, oh. please, please pick up that brush. Yes, we would love to see what you can do. That's why I sit up here and do these things for you. Man, this one's so fire. Okay, again, we gotta have that little bit of dark before we get too far away. Underneath our white. Just have it sit up just that littlest bit. And that is my best technique for foam that I had to teach myself. Nobody taught me that. There we go. Okay. Let's decide what this side of our wave is going to do. How long have we been going? This has to be a... 53 minutes, babe. Well, it's not been long. My phone just told me to stand up like I haven't been standing this entire time. Thanks, phone. Or watch. My watch. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. How many people do we have watching? And how many have we had watching? What was the highest number? I don't think you want me to. I want to know, please. Uh, there's no way that it could possibly mess me up now. There we go. Just scrubbing in where I want my next little bit of water. Look at that line. Fantastic. My goodness. All right, that's where our water be crashing. So we're going to start to feed it back. Don't curl up right away, right? It's got to go back and then start to curl. And that makes the wave look 
more rounded, right? If you come straight up from here, your wave's gonna look like a wall coming at you, which is not what you want, right? Come back, 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 back. Little bits, little things start showing up, start happening, right? Let's wash the brown off of this brush now because it's. I really want the wave to be nice and pretty and blue. Fantastic! Do we get any more wacky flatable tube mins? No, not yet. Oh, no! No yet, no yet. They're coming, I feel them coming. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Rev Dreamer, this is oil paint. Josh is an oil paint artist. If you want to see a really, really, really funny acrylic fagel pull video, oh, you can head over to TikTok and watch his videos. Please don't. Or you can watch it on YouTube. Have you thought about showing others paintings for le learning purposes? What? Those have not painted. Yes, you can head over to YouTube. He does have an entire series over there for real in-depth tutorial classes. $7.99 a month, you can head over there. Uh, it does make the biggest bit of difference. If you subscribe to support our family, we really do appreciate it. We are 400 likes away from 90. Holy cow, likes. you guys. Let's put a little bit of that, just the, the sunny color. Just a little bit of that yellow inside of our brown section, right? Swipe it until it looks natural, like a little bit of a sheen on the water, right? Just a very soft little sheen. Nothing too crazy yet. Now, I want to get in with my liquid white and my titanium white so we can create our water line as it continues to roll in, just like that, nice and jaggedy. You don't want it to be all straight and perfect. At least I don't. Just rolling it in. Let it be water. If you do paint something and it is a follow along to one of Josh's tutorials from YouTube, uh, please, please, please head over to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash paint with Josh. You can always send him a message over there. Uh, he does have subscriptions on Facebook. If you are not a YouTube person, I totally understand that aspect. Uh, $7.99 over on YouTube, $9.99 on Facebook. You can also subscribe here on TikTok as well get in uh, personalized content. If you are interested in taking classes, if you are interested in uh, learning more about oil paints, learning how he puts it together, how he makes these paintings, definitely head over to YouTube, in-depth classes over there, all day, every day, hit that playlist, take a nap. Paint with him. Paint with me, baby. Look, see how we don't go down to the bottom? Karen, don't need to cover everything. Karen, there are more in-depth videos. Uh, there is an entire module series under the YouTube subscription for $7.99. Damn it. I touched in a place I didn't want to touch. Oh, no. Keep your corners nice and dark. There we go. Nice and simple, though. All you got to do, knock off whatever bright color is on there and let it mix with the dark colors from underneath. There is a poll happening right now on TikTok on whether or not you will be subscribing to YouTube. 81% of the people watching right now say they will be Holy subscribing Holy cow, you YouTube. guys are fantastic. If you guys can go over there, hit that subscribe button, turn those little notifications on, like the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. You are helping two people, not just one person. We do have a daughter as well, so technically three people. Yep, the get more, a bit of our yellow over here. The more people that subscribe, the more people that join, the more canvases, more paint, more free videos that Josh can bring everybody. Body. Thank there you so much, Wild Spirit. We hit a hundred thousand likes. It's insane. One swipe, otherwise it's gonna ruin it. Wipe the brush so you don't get any more color. Shh, very soft. See, all the times you go over and you go back and you grab that little bit of color. That's okay. Just blend it away. There we go. Take it away from our wave. What do you think, Christian? Looking good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Mark Anderson yep. on YouTube says, new Netflix idea, Josh Payne, while London comments on what he's doing using house paint brush, add some Winnie the Pooh yellow and some fire truck red, you <laughs> swipe, you swipe, you make the egg shape. If you guys missed out, you can also watch the London voice over video. It is totally not what you would expect when it comes to oil painting. And it is hilarious. I am London is hilarious. I am That's Josh's true. wife. Thank you for everybody who has already subscribed to really appreciate You guys are that. amazing. All right, let's work on this piece up here. Here we go. Now we got to come back. Go ahead, hon. I don't mean to interrupt you or nothing. No, you're fine. This is your show, babe. 
102,000 likes over on TikTok. If you are interested in supporting Josh, you can either send gifts on TikTok, you can send super stickers on YouTube. We do also, we will also be putting this painting up on Etsy when the show is over. This painting will be available. You can find it over on Etsy at paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Uh, it will be up there in the newest uploads, most recent, if you are interested. That canvas is an 18 by 24 canvas, and it is, you're watching it live being painted right now. Line up your little lines with your little bits around the bottom. All right, just make sure they come in and connect somewhere. That's all you really need. Maybe that guy was over here. He didn't even have any friends. Don't need too many details though. You get too many details and it's going to ruin it. Throw a couple little light guys in here. We just did the that dark color. So maybe it's got a couple little light guys. Just You don't even need to finish them all the way. Just a few little veins in your eye is all you need. You're not going to see every single vein. All right? Well, shape your water. <clears throat> now let's take a little bit of that same color, our little white area. You don't want it to be too bright yellow. And grab some of these guys, some of these little bits of foam. They're starting to fall down. Babe, I also want to let you know you just hit 6,400 followers on TikTok. Holy cow, 6,400. 500 new followers. That's insane. We have an Etsy notification. Oh Thank you my, so much what is for it? For favoriting the Deathly Shallows painting. That's one of my really favorite seascapes. It. There we go. Don't want to put too much detail. Remember, we got to soften it. Following our little rotational waterways. Lexi says, praying nobody buys this one before I can. <laughs> if you go over and favorite the shop, you will receive that notification when that painting does go into the shop. There will also be a notification yeah. on Facebook. Um, but it cool. is a case where you will have to get there first. There are paintings that do go quicker than we can even. People sit there and refresh the shop. Uh, so thank you so, so, so much, everyone that's coming in real quick. Yes, Favorites baby. in the shop. Thank you for those likes. Uh, absolutely amazing. The gifts. What brand of paints do you use, So I, I use Bob Ross brand, Windsor & Newton, Gamblin 1980, Magic Fly, all the time. It doesn't really matter what brand it is. Give me some paint and I'll make it work. There we go. Pulling back from the edge of our little water line, right? This is the one that just came in few minutes ago it's trying to get a few seconds ago anyway it's trying to get sucked backwards hey babe how long does it take to dry so my paint is being out here in las vegas uh this one will probably be dry by i don't know tuesday maybe two three days and you're like how do you get an oil painting to dry in two or three days well my climate has a lot to do with it and uh we keep a fan running in here most times especially angled at the paintings that i'm trying to get dry there we go a bit of that foam just making its way along the beach. Madman's in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. There we go. Got to make if, sure your angles are right, though. If you do purchase this painting and you are active on TikTok, please, please, please use the AJR sound. Let's skip to the good part. And please do a reveal video because we do keep those and put them up for customer appreciation videos over on <clears throat> Facebook. We do. So that would be amazing. Anything that you buy, thank you so much, Madman. I really appreciate it. Madman, this is my voice in the background. So normally my voice is in front of the camera. Today I'm behind the camera. This is Josh, my husband. Hi. This is what he does. I do a little bit of painting every so often, like every week. <laughs> like three times a week. Uh, if you are interested in getting this painting in a puzzle, I see a lot of you in yeah, TikTok baby. asking about puzzles. He does make this in a puzzle, and it will be up in a puzzle probably later on today. Yeah, we usually, on the really good ones that I really like, I try to make puzzles and prints, because I understand that the one canvas is sort of expensive, and that it may sell fast, and so we like to have prints available, uh, and they're fantastic quality. They're actually thicker than the canvas is, they're made better. It's a gorgeous piece. I even have a couple of my own canvas prints. How sad is that? Uh, but because the, the painting had sold so quickly and I needed, I needed it. I couldn't live without these paintings. So I had to order my own prints. If you are interested in joining the YouTube uh, members only uh, portion over on YouTube, I'm sorry, I just totally chewed my words. 
uh, there are more in-depth videos, how Josh loads the paintbrush, how he oh, yeah. blends. We get, we get very close, I show close you. Up, how much paint you is know. on the palette knife, how much paint is on the brush. Uh, the the, those videos that you pay for, that is no nonsense. We don't laugh. I'm not saying wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> it's just me and you painting. Because if you're paying me, I'm teaching you. I'm not messing around, joking around. I mean, we have fun, me and you, and together. But uh, it's no nonsense. I take those things very seriously. Joy, thank you so much for showing up and showing support. This is my husband. I'm hey, loaded. Joy. It's hilarious. This is my joy. This is Paint with Josh. He paints three times a week. Once video, one video on a Wednesday on YouTube. Hey, we reached another wacky inflatable arm. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. I'm Hal Harrington, owner of Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man's Painters and Warehouse. And we're here to pass these painting tips along to you. So if you are a big fan of Family Guy and you enjoy watching Josh <laughs> do that little charade, you can submit your very own wacky waving inflatable. I still can't say it. You gotta get on it, baby. I yeah, I can't. You can head over to Josh's link tree, which is linktree.com forward slash paint with Josh and hit up his Amazon storefront where you can buy canvases, paint, anything that you are interested or need to uh, get so that you can paint along with him as well. You can also go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels. This isn't a pl shameless plug, but if Michaels would sponsor us, we'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Wouldn't we? All right, let's Sh get the... Shalisa says, have another drink of that Red Bull. Love this energy. Yeah, baby, let's do it. Oh. Now he's choking. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll never spill a drop. The nectar of the gods. Mmm. <laughs> All right, very cool. I like this one a lot. So, uh, we're about to add the most special part of a Paint With Josh video. A uh, Paint With Josh painting. And this, if you're not ready to buy this one, this will make you ready to buy it. We have to add in the signature and the family. You're like, what family, right? Well, in every one of my paintings, I include my wife and my daughter and myself as in, you know, represented by these three birds that I'm about to paint. And they go into every single painting because it's literally the only way that we get to travel together. Like we're literally about to go travel for Thanksgiving and it's just gonna be me and my daughter, like always, while London stays home with the animals. And then when she goes somewhere, we stay home, or I stay home, and we never get to go anywhere together. So this is the only way that we get to live together inside of our paintings and travel and go see all these gorgeous little places by painting these little three birds. So if you've ever had a Paint With Josh painting, 98,000% of them have these birds. I've only <laughs> missed them on a couple times where I was maybe too medicated to remember to put them in. But... Josh does also sign his paintings with JK. They are his initials, so this is Josh Kirkham, Paint With Josh. If you are interested in purchasing this painting within the hour, it will be up. You can head over to Etsy. You can purchase it on a canvas, on a print. If the canvases are, are too expensive, not a problem. You can buy them on a canvas print or a poster print. You can also get them is just adding more things for me to make. In a jigsaw format. The okay. first thing that will go live will be the painting, though. Yeah, that'll uh, be so out. You, you will have to wait a little longer. Uh, I am heading to a tattoo convention today, so I will be going live, getting tattooed momentarily in about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, if you want to come join me over there and see a total different form of art from Christian Wiltsey, who is a phenomenal tattooist. She is a fantastic tattoo artist. I will be live at the Las Vegas Tattoo Convention today. Can you zoom out on YouTube? Of course I can. I can zoom out on everything. <clears throat> There's this beautiful face. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's funny because he's not very good looking. <laughs> so if you are uh, if you are interested, uh, we've got people here asking about country cottage paintings. We do. I got paintings, don't... puzzles, yeah. psychedelic seascapes. I've got all sorts of stuff. Everything is over there. If you if you like something and it's a sold out painting, ask Josh. He'll make a print of it just for you. Okay. Now that we're done, can you tell me how many people we had watching? Eight hundred. Eight hundred people! <laughs> Holy cow! That is a personal record. That's a page record. Eight hundred at one time watching me on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. London doesn't tell me for the reason that I would lose all of my. I'd lose all track. And Etsy is and on fire right now. Yeah, baby. Favorite. Blow it those, up. Favoriting those items. Blow it up, baby. Uh, M Scott says thinking about switching from acrylic to oil paint. Any well, tips? my dude. 
Any tips? Yes, get over to oils immediately. Like I am not a, an acrylic painter, right? It's been proven. I try one. Honey, can you grab the acrylic? Is it back there? It might, it's, it might. Oh, it's here. It's here underneath all the frames. So I painted one painting in acrylic because I got a hair up my butt one time and I'm like, I'm going to go be one of those paint, uh, you know, paint and canvas, paint and sip things, but they paint in acrylic. And you can just clearly see the difference <laughs> from my acrylic paintings to an oil painting. And just the, you know, it's so much easier for me to paint with oils than it is to paint with acrylics. And you know, I didn't, I didn't Google anything. I didn't look up anything. I didn't look up anything when I started painting this. I watched it's incredibly difficult. I watched like four Bob Ross videos, and then acrylics. I, I let out on my own. But yeah, I know there are fantastic, like uh, Maria, one of our artist friends. She's fantastic at uh, acrylics. I just, I, they don't work for me. So I can teach you how to use oils much better than I can teach you how to use acrylic. That's for sure. If you are interested in purchasing this painting or anything with Josh's art on it, um, you can head over to Etsy, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Yep. We'll take you directly to a store. This painting will be available within about an hour and a half. Give him time to clean his brushes, clean up the studio, pick out the painting that he dropped on the carpet, <laughs> and then post this to Etsy if you want to purchase the, a canvas print. Thank you so much for the vampire bats. Really appreciate oh, it. Oh, thank you for the bats. We really <laughs> appreciate it. You can follow Josh here on TikTok. You can also follow him over on YouTube. And Facebook and He's Instagram. On Facebook, 34 vampire bats. 38. Whoa, 39, baby. 42. Thank you. Let's count them fun. <laughs> Two vampire bats. Three vampire bats. 50 bat. vampire bats. Oh, my God. I thank can't count so, so fast. Much. A fun really two, three, four, it. six vampire bat. Which brand name canvases does Josh use? So these ones came from Mark Anderson, one of my uh, one of my fans uh, from my Amazon wish list. I can't remember the brand. I normally get them from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So I think the Hobby Lobby brand is uh, uh, Masters something or other, and the ones from my uh, from Hey Babe Michaels is like Artist Loft. They're all the same. Babe. Yes, my love. Sure, Judy sent one of those flaky guys. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two man. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Woo, baby. Fire. Absolutely amazing, you guys. You guys have been phenomenal all morning. Man, High geez. energy. We really appreciate it. Yeah, baby. It. We love you guys. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Etsy. Ya. Any way you can reach out to Josh. We are obviously a small business. We are a little, uh, we are a little family. Me, my husband, Josh, you see him right here. I'm London, it's hilarious. Hey, come on screen, honey. No, I'm not. Come on I, screen. I have no makeup Yeah, on. come on screen. Look at her, yeah, she's so gorgeous. Look at her, oh, I love her so much. Mwah, I love I have you. No on. I love you, you're but still I, so pretty. I am London, it's hilarious. You are more than welcome to follow me as well. I'm not as funny, I'm very serious. We talk about very serious stuff. But my videos on TikTok are hilarious. Uh, London is hilarious for obvious reasons. There we go. Um, oh, thank you so much, Riley. Hot mama. So beautiful. See? Thank you. I, appreciate I told you, girl. You don't need to do that. Guys, Stop keep it. giving her compliments. I might Stop get some it. nookie later. Stop it. <laughs> um, thank you again, guys. We are going to wrap this show up. If you have any last minute questions, we will have a couple of minutes. Yep, I'm right here. Answer questions. We did reach 110,000. Oh, my God, you guys. That is insane. It is literally insane. You wait till you see your gifts. <laughs> what are we looking at gift wise? I'm not. I'm. I'm so not into TikTok. Like if I if if it wasn't for London, I you guys wouldn't be seeing this because I'm like, oh, let's do Facebook and YouTube. Those are my biggest audiences. Well, now Facebook and TikTok are my biggest audiences, There's, and TikTok is definitely the most interactive audience for been sure. Thirty people on YouTube. Woo! Thirty, baby. Up I love eight, you guys. Eight hundred. I think there was eight hundred and twelve on TikTok. God, this is fire! Oh, oh I Sheila, love it. Sheila Gray says, "Thank you for the live. Josh is incredibly talented. We are here twice a week: Friday night, seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time; Sunday morning, ten a.m. Pacific Standard Time." Hang on, I got to make sure it's good for the buyer. And we're gonna get these edges taken care of, just so that you don't need to put it in a frame, and you can just hang it free on your wall. Hang it up. Uh, if you guys have anything that you want to talk about, uh, ask away. By by all means, either ask right now or submit to the uh, membership on YouTube or Facebook or the subscription here on TikTok where you will be able to get answers to the questions. 
um, that you need answered. Uh, best waves ever from Sheila Gray. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much. Really appreciate it. Josh does do a seascape every Sunday if you are an ocean lover. Uh, he does also have many other pieces of art in his Etsy store. Uh, Union Jack flag painting, a 9-11 memorial painting. Yeah, the 9-11 painting was really cool. Um, a, a, an American go. flag painting. Yep. Uh, seascape. Uh <laughs> Eth Knight says, how did your husband learn to paint? It's a very sad story, actually. We lost my mom, and in the sadness, Josh started to watch um, Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. And he got very, very, very into Bob Ross, and then said to me one day, babe, I think I can do this. And I laughed. Yeah, she was and, like... <laughs> and here we are now, three years later. Let's not talk <laughs> about it anymore. So, so one time where Josh was right. Yes, Josh was right. First painting that he made, it took three months for him to sell a piece of artwork. So. Oh, God. I cried like a baby the first time I got a sale. This is a great story, just real quickly. So I'm driving home from work, and my phone goes, ching I know exactly where I am. I still remember to this day where I'm, where I'm in, on the road. And I burst into tears, like uncontrollable, crying, sobbing. I had to pull over into the gas station parking lot. And I was... Just uncontrollable, right? I get home, I tell London, she's like, oh, that's so awesome. I was like, oh my God, I was crying. It would have been the best viral video. Turns out it was my wife that bought the very first painting because she didn't want me to have no sales in my store. She felt bad. So she bought the very first one. And I was like, oh, that's, I mean, I love you to death. But if we would have got that on video, my God, what a, what, a, what a viral video that would have been. Right. Because I could not control my tears. And then it turns out to be you, which was just funny. We hit 112,000 likes. Oh my god, you guys. Thank you so much. That we is really insanity. Appreciate it. Just got to clean up the palette real quick because we're going to leave the house. And I know if I don't do it now, I'll forget and feel gross. Yeah, you're going to have to clean your palette. Post that for sale because there's people in the comments. All right, that it's, it. it's going up. Paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Uh, there's a ton of stuff up there, even if this painting isn't for you here. And if it gets purchased, don't worry, I'm going to put out canvas prints, which are actually better quality. They're thicker. They're, you know, gorgeous. So if it does get purchased, don't trip. You can have the same painting on a better canvas even, right? It just won't be the original. It'll if, be a photo of this printed onto a canvas. It's still if fantastic. If you are interested later today, the events will be posted for this week coming up. It will be Friday um, and Sunday, Friday night, we go live 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, those events will be featured today. Uh, we do have, Josh does have paintings in his store of just trees and a blue sky. He does True. have those. I've got lots of landscapes. I've got stuff with mountains, stuff that's, with UFOs, stuff with lakes, he, water, all sorts of things. That's all he paints is landscapes, so... I'd paint landscapes all day if I could, but the Lord and my wife wouldn't think it very good. So I'll paint when I can and I work when I should. Thank God I'm a painting boy. Yes! Megan Bull, of course you can request a specific photo. Josh does oh, absolutely. do commissions. If you head over to Facebook or uh, direct message him here, uh, he is able to uh, converse with you in order to get that commission out. When I say thank you, we do have to end the live. We I do. have to go and get tattooed at the Las Vegas Tattoo Convention. We are. You guys have an absolutely beautiful going. day, and I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday. Friday is the next live on TikTok, guys. Otherwise, catch my stuff on YouTube, and uh, you can rewatch older shows. You can watch tutorial videos. You can learn. You can do all sorts of stuff, and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so, what's up? Spirit Weaver Cheryl says, okay, let's go. keep in mind you can't paint elephants. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's so funny how <laughs> London just craps all over my elephants. It's fantastic. Okay, so until we see you guys again next time, we love you. We love all the stars. Thank you for the wacky, wicked, inflatable, arm flailing, cute man. Oh my God, it was fantastic. I've had such a good time with all you guys on TikTok and YouTube today. So until we see you guys again next time, take care, have the rest of a good day, and ba -ba oh, get him out of here, babe. I almost knocked my palate over. Everything's falling. Oh my God. Ah.